Hello guys, this is Red from Red Store Dimension Gaming, and today I'm bringing you a real story, real review, and it's one year since I've gotten my CyberPower PC, and it's still not working correctly, and this is just a one year review on the situation and the company altogether. I ordered my CyberPower PC on November 28th, 2014. About a week later is when I got an email from someone named Steve at CyberPower and they said that my computer was in production. It was about a week later, it was on December 3rd is when I got the email. Towards the end of December, I got my CyberPower PC and everything came good. It came in two boxes. It came in one box which was for the case. It was like the original case that they they had for their computers that I ordered and it came in another box and it was sealed up pretty good so anyone that was going to throw the package at UPS or anything happening to it it had a pretty good chance of surviving overall I thought that it was really a good decent price everything came packaged pretty well and it started off pretty good. It took about three weeks to four weeks to get all put together and shipped and to my house. So overall that was a good experience. And when I, I started up my computer it worked fine and everything was rendering at great speeds. This was like the best PC I have ever had. And as you've seen in my unboxing of the video way back a long time ago I was so excited I didn't even do like a formal type of unboxing like I did with every other piece of tech and video games I've ever bought and that's because I was so excited and I just got it and I was like in my pajamas still and people complained about the unboxing but believe me I didn't mean to do it like that it's just I was so excited so I got the PC I was happy with everything so far it worked fantastically and everything seemed to be put together so well in May I was having trouble with my PC this was about five to six months mainly about five because I didn't get the PC until almost January so it was about five months almost until it started having problems and I didn't know what to do I just got a job at Amazon at the same time so I was kinda of getting busy at my works and here so I didn't end up putting an RMA request until May 23rd I have every single email and invoice and RMA number so I'm telling you everything from my experience so I sent them an email I said I need help with the system or need it to be sent back for parts to be replaced and during this time period I had a noticeable blue screen of death and it happened it kept happening consistently it was about five times that I got it and then I just gave up the computer would freeze and then it would turn off and restart about seven different times I'm actually telling you the exact facts of everything that was going on wrong with this thing the graphics card in the bottom of the screen kept failing many times so I didn't know it would be a graphics card problem which is what they ended up saying they replaced, but I have no idea because I still haven't gotten it, any of the issue fixed yet. I told him the graphics card on the bottom of the screen said it failed many, many times. And I need the computer to work correctly so I, I can get my work done because they don't know this, but I am a YouTuber. I have 30,000 subscribers. So if, if you're going to treat me like trash, I'm, I'm going to blast you right here on YouTube and on Twitter, which I have been doing. This is just the start of my problems with CyberPower. This isn't this isn't when I got into all the crap of their customer service. Believe me. And do not buy extended warranties through them because when you send it back, you're not gonna like what you're gonna receive back. To put it frank. Okay, so this is all the RMA process and everything. I started it in May. So they actually made me since it wasn't in the first three months, I think, I think it's like three months, you can't return it after that, or you can't 
get anything free shipping or anything. So I had to pay about, I can't remember, it was pretty close to $150. And I got tracking and I think it was signature confirmation. It was expensive. When I went to UPS, they said it would cost like 300 bucks just to ship it to California. I was just, yeah, I'm not doing that. So I went to USPS, the postal service. So I was actually, for like this month, like from May to June, I was trying to get them to get me a free shipping back to them because it's expensive. So in that time period, I didn't get a lot of responses. And then when I did, they said it's only a 45 day period. So it's actually less than three months. It's only a month and a half you're getting from the time, from the date of purchase. This is a really dumb way of screwing your customer if it doesn't work right away. If it takes about, let's say three weeks, so 21 days after the purchase date, and it takes 21 days to build the computer. Let's just, let's just assume that, because I know it was about three to four weeks. You're taking almost half of the days from the refund period just on your build, just from them building it. So this is a little crazy. Like, so the computer is less than, actually it's less than a month that you get to use the computer before like if anything's wrong with it, you, have to send, you can send it back, get a refund, or even free shipping back to them. Otherwise you have to pay for it. Dumb policy. Uh, excuse my language, I'm trying not to swear, is a very dumb policy. So you're saying basically 45 days from date of purchase. Plus mine was like five months, five to six months. So I was trying to get them and here's when they got back to me. They got back to me like, it was like almost a month later. It took a long time to get them back to me. Like this is literally, like I had to email them and I wasn't getting any like service at all. So it took about a month for all that, just for me to get back to them and then saying, no, we're not gonna send you a label or anything. We're, we're just screwing you. That's pretty much what it was. So in July, like here's here's the funny thing about it. When I actually shipped it out, it took two days to get to them. Now, here's when even more shit hit the fan. Okay, they got it back. It took them like a week just to start working on it. Like, just for them to say, oh, we're starting to work on your PC. I didn't hear back from them for a while. It was like, let's see here. It was July, let me see, sometime in July, like it, it was like two to three weeks and I waited and, I, and then I tried calling them and seeing where my PC is and everything. They said that they had to wait on my graphics card. That's all it was, it was that they said. They said the only thing that was wrong with it was the graphics card, of course. That's, that's the only thing. So they couldn't have problem shooted or took me through steps to find out it was just a graphics card. They couldn't just sent me a graphics card and I could have gotten it fixed. Like just take that one out, send it back to them. That's what Origin PC, that's the good one. I'm gonna go over a review on that later on sometime. But instead they just had me send the whole thing back for $130, 130 something dollars. And I could have just bought my own graphics card and replaced it myself. Like, I at least know what that problem is now and I can fix it myself if that ever happens again. Now, on to the next details of the situation. They ended up sending me, I ended up getting the computer back in August. Believe it or not, it was like, let's see, on the email of when I sent the pictures of the problem, because I sent it right away. I sent it like a day or like I waited like to open the computer box. It took about a week because I was working and we thought everything would be okay. And when the computer was in there, it was like, oh, it should be okay, right? Because it's all packaged up and well. No. And when I opened it up, which I'm going to put the pictures that I sent back to CyberPower. I actually have several times of this happening the legs were broken off basically and there was no way you could like replace it. you had to replace the whole case so and the bottom was messed up it was like cracked on the bottom so i was a little pissed off because i essentially waited almost two months 
from June to July. That is, it was at least like a month and a half before I even got my PC back because when I was on the phone with them, what they ended up saying was they couldn't upgrade me to a better graphics card because that one's out of stock. They said it was on back order and they had to wait like three weeks to tell me this. Why don't you just upgrade it? Like, it's a faulty part. It's not my fault. And why should I have to wait forever for you to get like not even that expensive of a graphics card? You just why don't they just go to Newegg or Amazon or anywhere local store to get their parts? Like it's not going to be that expensive. Like I'm assuming they're using refurbished parts because most graphics cards do last a lot longer than five to six months. So from here they ended up upgrading it to a super clocked 760 GTX. That's it. That's what they said it was. They said it was a super clocked. Oh, yeah. Well, that's when, like I said, it took about another couple weeks. It took. Let me see. That was in July. Sometime in July. I didn't get it until like August 10th. August. It was a week before I started sending in the pictures because I opened it finally and I was like, "What the fuck? This thing's messed up." Excuse my language. I'm trying not to swear, but I will. <laughs> so, in August, they had me do another RMA. I didn't have to pay this time for the shipping. So this is my second RMA. I sent, I had the picture sent and everything, and they gave me a label. So that was all done. I sent it back. They always send you a survey too, and I always put one, 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 because at first I wasn't doing that. But I started to after the several RMAs. So I sent it back. I got it sometime back in September. And yeah, and it's funny too, because my shipping that I paid a hundred something dollars for took like two days to get back to them. Their shipping took like seven, to, it took seven days at least, like a week or two, just to get back to them. And then sometimes they don't always work on it right away. So sometime in September, they got it back. They shipped it back to me after about a week or so, and it came back damaged again. So we're on to the third RMA. There's one, two, and then three. And then I ended up doing, I tried getting in contact and waiting on their so called managers to try to give me, or like level two tech support, whatever. Like you can't just talk to someone or a manager at all. Managers don't talk on you on the phone because know why they probably have really bad customer service for most people me included and they got really bad terms you agree to those terms basically when you purchase it which is only 45 days from the purchase date and all this other crap so I talked to a person in chat I talked to a person on the phone they seem very weird and sketchy about trying to get someone a refund or a return or a rebuild that's all I wanted was a rebuild first off I didn't want to return because I still wanted the computer because I got the origin one now because over the summer I had to buy it I wouldn't have had to buy it if it would have came back right the first time so then they basically said that it's out of uh, the 45 days to return it and everything like that so I was screwed all I could do is basically send it back they send it back to me and then all this other crap so yeah this took a couple weeks because I was trying to not have to send it back without like getting a refund i wanted a refund like it was over three months without having a computer working and you only had it working five to six months that's pretty bad <laughs> so and they still didn't understand this it's like okay i work for youtube this is why most of you saw a drop in my views um, i saw a drop in monetization like money wise because i wasn't uploading as much i had stuff already rendered beforehand like a long time ago I had the whole Far Cry series that was already rendered that's why you saw that over the summer and I also had I was using a MacBook and they're making it very hard for me to render anything that's why you saw a drop in that because this was affecting my YouTube like as a business kind of thing and also as like fun for you guys like it's fun for you guys to watch it's fun for me to play it but I couldn't do that as much and I even tried doing my blog more often over the summer and had really good reviews on there, but not as many people saw it. 
because I was trying to message you through Google, and Google Plus is not the best way to do that. And it's kind of hard to explain it, but yeah, CyberPower is the reason why you saw me upload the quest. So, getting on the main topic. It was sometime in, I think, October when I sent it back again. This is actually the fourth RMA. And, yeah, what do you, what do you know? I got it back broken again. And it was the same spot every time. This is what I don't understand, though. If you would send it back to me, if you, after you fixed it and everything, if you sent it back to me, replace the whole case, and replace the legs and everything, and then put it in a box like you did the first time, you freaking dumbasses. Put it in a, one box, then put the cushion and everything like you do around that box, then put it in the big box like you did the first time. It would not come back broken freaking four times now. This is the fourth time it happened. Four times it came back broken. And this isn't the last one. So, the fifth RMA, well, they told me that they would have to send it back again. This is, like, getting really ridiculous. Well, I think the October one, I didn't get back until November, almost. It was almost November until I got it. I was really pushing for the refund still, and or a rebuild. No, they don't do, we don't do rebuilds. It doesn't say it. Okay, literally, you go on their website, it does not say anything about, we don't do rebuilds on anything it doesn't say anything like that so literally in their contract with you it doesn't say that we will do a rebuild if you've had to deal with this for over six months six to seven months so right now i'm in over six months since my original purchase date and it's getting really ridiculous so i went on eventually i got to my fifth rma which i'm on right now and that's where this one year review kind of ends but here's the thing from the fifth rma that i had to send it back to the guy said to open it up actually see if there everything was good okay inside what i ended up finding out is that the inside of it was dusty as shit it was literally dirty like the case so how is it a brand new case if it's that dirty I think, like I told him, I think they use like either a refurbished case or they just replace the legs or something. And he said that, yeah, this shouldn't be dirty like that. Like all the tech guys, always, like all the guys that I talked to on the RMA status and stuff phone, they always seem so sincere and nice and they agree with me, but they can't do anything about it. It's ridiculous. Um, I did have a few that were kind of annoying and really irritating the crap out of me. They sound like a robot. Repeating, oh, we cannot do that, sir, because it's not in our terms. It does not say anything about rebuilds. It does not say anything about that. And that's where you guys should... If a customer has to deal with this for over six months, and longer than when they actually had the computer, you should actually refund them or give them a rebuild. It should be an option. You shouldn't have to deal with this every time. This is a really bad case. And... They were a shit company. So, still continuing my story here. So, some parts were loose inside of it. The motherboard, um, that he said, I think it, I think it was, yeah, it was this. He said because we came a agreement on some of the stuff, and he even had it in his notes that the motherboard should be replaced. The graphics card was really wobbly and jiggly, and there were some parts inside that were not like tight like they weren't in there tight and that could have been a case from shipping they weren't really tight and they were loose so he was gonna have a lot of the stuff replaced but when i got it back the sixth time when i called him up again i called tech support and then they said that all they did was replace the case so the same and i'm telling you this truthfully i think they never touched any of the insides ever so they only replaced like either the legs or the case and that's it they kept using the same parts okay so these parts were moving back and forth from like i'm not even going to include the very first time when it shipped out if you include that it'd be 11 times so back and forth so from my house to theirs is one time to their house to mine so that so it's two times every time there's an rma 
So that is a total of 10 times through UPS. Just throwing box. You know how they do that. They throw boxes all the time. I work at Amazon Warehouse. I can tell you that people throw heavy crap around. Like, they don't just like... Oh, we're going to lightly do this because it's heavy. And it's not the greatest job in the world. They'll throw stuff around. I'm glad I'm not on a pack line because... Yeah, I don't have to deal with that. Um, yeah, so... I'm literally telling you the truth. UPS, they probably do the exact same thing in FedEx. and I don't know how bad FedEx is, but I've never got any bad packages from FedEx. But UPS around here, they'll throw things. And it's coming from California. You know how many UPSs? It's going to be thrown around a lot. You don't double box it. That's what happens. And they didn't replace any of the parts inside that they said they would. That's ridiculous. And CyberPower, you guys are a bunch of liars. And... Your support sucks ass. It gets a zero out of five. Your support is so terrible. And your freaking policies suck ass. That gets a zero out of five. The computer, within the first six months, just that part, like just a graphics card going out, that's not a big deal. But what is a big deal is you guys treating your customers like crap. If you go on the web and you look up People with the exact same problem I had, there are a lot of people with this blue screen problem on CyberPower PCs. So I'm assuming their graphics cards suck. They probably use refurbished parts. Even though they don't they will not admit this probably. They use refurbished parts. Why would a graphics card only last less than six months? If it's a faulty card, then they should have took me through the steps, like Origin. Origin PC even took me through steps because they don't wanna why would they want you to send your whole PC back? That costs them money. And it's costing this company money, but they don't want to replace the whole computer at all. They don't want to replace any parts inside at all. They just want to go with the cheapest option, which they're replacing the case. I don't even know what they actually fully did because it still came up pretty smeared and stuff. I don't know. When I first got it, it wasn't smeared up. It, it was brand new. It looked brand new. It didn't have any smears on it when I first got it. It was nice. This one looks like it could be the same case. And I think the first two RMAs, I still had my original sticker on it. So all they did was replace the feet, like the first couple RMAs. Still, had, I got a motor, motorsport.com sticker on the side. It was still there, like, after a couple RMAs. So they didn't replace anything until, like, the third or fourth RMA. They started maybe replacing the case. And then after that, maybe they just didn't replace it all and just replaced the feet that kept breaking off in the bottom. There's a bottom vent that kept breaking off, and it's part of the bottom there. But they didn't replace anything other than that, I don't think, at all. Because it was dusty as crap. All I can say is, if, if you're going to buy a CyberPower PC, never have the intent of sending it back. When you send it back to them, it could come back broken, and their tech support is crap. So, on a PC build, I say like a three out of five. It's a decent. It's a decent build for your money, price-wise. A four out of five. It's a really good price, but overall, as a company, they're a one out of five. You cannot go with this company. I would never buy a CyberPower PC again, and I would recommend all you not to do that. The only good parts are they're really cheap, which they could be using all refurbished parts. So the cheaper the build, you gotta assume that something could go wrong at any time, and it's a ticking time bomb. You have no idea when one of their parts is gonna go out. Also, have to tell you that they told me that they would not extend my warranty. This is this is literally after like it's been six seven months. They said they they would not extend my warranty. Even though I haven't had the computer, I only had the computer for like five months. By the, around five and a half months. Working. Like, working condition. I only had it for like five months. Because five and a half, I didn't contact them right away. So it's like five and a half if you count it without me calling them. Because I didn't have it working. It was like working only for literally five months. And that's ridiculous. So you're saying I already lost my warrant. It's already been a year. So I'm already out of warranty, and you're not going to extend it for any of the parts or do anything. And I hope this helps anyone that's trying to buy a CyberPower PC. Do not go with them. A similar company I've also heard that some people have been having a lot of problems with is iBuyPower. 
I would not go with any of these, like, they're half the price of, like, an Origin PC or an Alienware. Alienware, I would recommend over them. A Dell XPS, my computer lasted longer than this CyberPower PC. And that was with the weakest, like, one of the weakest graphics cards you could ever imagine. And it lasted, like, two years before I sold it. And it still was working. And even Dell, they'll actually work with you. If it's within a year, you could get your whole PC, like, you could get a brand new one like that. Dell doesn't screw around. HP, I had a problem with an HP laptop. It only lasted like three months. That's why I don't recommend HPs, but I have heard that they have been doing better now. But their customer service is really good. That's, that's the difference. Like, HP, I send them back to the laptop and I got a brand new one. It wasn't refurbished. Nothing was wrong with it. I did sell it right away because I didn't want to deal with it breaking or anything again. Yeah, they sent me a brand new laptop. That's good customer service. I'm sure Asus and a lot of other companies do the same thing. Apple will most likely have a good customer service as long as you're within warranty. When you're within warranty, you should have good customer service and you should treat your customers like they're your family. You should not treat them like crap. You do not say that, oh, we're not going to do anything about it pretty much like why am I even sending it back and forth if you're not gonna just tell me that I'm screwed and you're taking my money and you're not you're not gonna do anything why are we playing this little chess game of oh I'm gonna send it back it comes back broken the very last RMA by the way it didn't come back broken the insides came back broken there is a problem with it it would not like turn on I use it on three different TVs two different HDMI's that actually they worked on other TVs. Two HDMI's. Different ones. I used it on three different monitors. One 19 inch HD TV. The one I gave my dad, it was a Sharp. I used it on a 32 inch Toshiba. And that one works fine with our satellite. We only got it like a year ago. And I used it on the 24 inch 3D display, the Sony one that I showed you guys that still works great. I use it with my computer every day. None of these worked. And they even asked me, like, they acted like assholes on the phone. The first tech guy, the level one guy, he said, literally, like, he was acting like I was dumb or something. Did you try plugging it in? And then, all these stupid questions. I am not that stupid. And then I was asking him if it was this other cord, which apparently the USB uh, 2.0 or 3.0 was not connected inside the computer it was not even plugged in and the reason why was there's like one or two bent pins inside the motherboard where it's supposed to go in so that doesn't go in and there's another part of that wire that's supposed to go somewhere else and you can't even get to it because of how tight it is in there I can't get to it they could probably get to it because they're used to that they didn't have it plugged in or it came loose when it was shipping and there was something moving around inside of the computer like when I lifted it up you could hear something falling inside of it so, and I couldn't even find out where that was, like, the issue. So the PC doesn't work, but it's not busted on the bottom. But they didn't replace anything. The guy I was talking about, the level 1 guy, he, what, he didn't replace anything. He's what he told me. They, all they did was change the case. And it could have just been the legs again. And I have no idea if it was or not. It didn't come as dusty this time, so I'm assuming maybe they either cleaned it or they replaced it. I have no idea can't trust them uh, I would never buy from them ever again never support their products and same with going with laptops I would never buy a laptop from them I know there are good prices but there are better laptops out there for about $500 more you can get an origin laptop compared to their laptops origin PC is really good with their customers you can get extended warranties that actually last really good because if you have to send it back, it comes in a freaking crate. How is sending something in a crate bad? Like, it comes in a box, it's sealed up, like it's really tight, like you have these things that you put in tight, and then you put it in a crate, you screw it in, and they pay for the freaking shipping. So I was out $1,650 from purchasing this. It, it was a little more than that. Um, I'm getting a rough estimate, 130 to 150, somewhere in between there. For me to originally ship it back, they weren't going to do anything to help me with this. 
it's about eighteen hundred dollars altogether on a computer that doesn't work. So my recommendation: never buy CyberPower PC. They are a bunch of assholes. And also, oh, here's one more thing I forgot about. The guy briefly like was listening to me, and then eventually he was like, "Hold on one sec," and I could hear them in the background laughing, like lightly so that like maybe he was away from his phone for like a second and he was telling his buddies in the tech support about he was like repeating what i said because he said what does it say on the cord sir and i said ss and he's like is this what what ff f is in something and then i was just like what the f i said s as in sarah is what i said and he's like oh and he's like oh, i'm gonna transfer you to level two support and I could hear him like literally laughing for like a minute. They were talking about me, the customer. That is uncalled for. Yeah, their customer support is a joke. Their tech support is a joke. Their RMA stuff is all total shit. If you, anything goes wrong with you, I recommend taking it to a local person to get it fixed. Because they have no idea what the fuck they're doing. They're dumb shits. And this has been a real, real life experience review one year review never buy from them you're gonna pay premium dollar for someone else to build it pay the money or go with an actual brand like asus dell i know a lot of people don't like dell but at least their products last and hp maybe because i've heard a lot of good things about hp lately they didn't used to always be that like they went into like a time of despair and now i think they're starting to work their ways back up but if you want a gaming laptop, go with Origin. Do a lot of research before buying it. I saw a lot of good reviews, but I was looking at the wrong things when I was looking at the reviews. You gotta look at the negative reviews, and there are a ton of negative reviews. So, overall, one out of five, and I'm only giving it a one out of five because those zeros are bringing down that price. You, you paying, you're paying for that price. If you don't pay more, you're not gonna get that premium PC. So, one out of five. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm very sleepy from talking about my experience. And thank you guys for watching.